getting good care before, during, and after your pregnancy is very important. It can help your baby to grow and develop and keep you both healthy. It is the best way to be sure your little one gets a head start on a healthy life. Hello there beautiful people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Shinne Tapishe. To all my returning subscribers, welcome. If you're new, you're in the right place, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. In this video of today, I'll be sharing with you pregnancy tips for soon to be that. The first tip, attend antenatal checkups with your wife. We all know at this moment, your wife is carrying your precious baby, your miracle baby. Attending antenatal checkups with your wife will help you to be well informed about your wife's health, everything that is going on with her, and also your unborn baby's health to know if there are any concerns that need to be attended to. And if you're attending antenatal checkups, it will be good for you because you will easily know the concerns and you will attend to them faster than if you were not attending in some cases. So it's always good for you to attend antenatal checkups. Here, you're also going to learn about other things you didn't know. You're going to learn about things maybe you read or you heard from people. You're going to ask questions that will help you to clarify your doubts. Tip number two. Be her advocate and ask lots of questions. Why attending antenatal checkups with your wife? In some cases, you might notice that the midwife or the doctor who is attending to your wife will ignore you unintentionally if you are just quiet. But if you decide to ask a lot of questions by making them to know, Hi, I'm here too and I'm willing to learn. They are going to provide all the answers to your questions and they are going to ask you if you have more questions. In such situations, you yourself will be actively involved. They will also pay attention to you and they will not ignore you again whenever you go. So before going for antenatal checkups with your wife, have your questions you're going to ask either the midwife or the doctor who will be attending to your wife. It will help you to also remind your wife at home if she forgets anything that she has to do. You're going to be a full participant in the pregnancy and you're not going to expect your wife to be the one telling you everything. If you read about things online, and you don't understand them, or you doubt if it is true, when you get to the hospital, make sure you ask such questions there and you'll be clarified. You'll be given the right answer. So always ask lots of questions and ask meaningful questions when you go for antenatal checkups with your wife. Tip number three, support with house chores. We all know men can do house chores too and some men can do it better than some women. When you as a man, you think about the fact that your wife is growing this little amazing human, this is your miracle baby, and you know it takes a lot of energy, make it a duty to support with house chores too, without being reminded. If you are working, before going to work in the morning, you can create time to clean around, or you can come back in the evening and clean. But make sure you support with house chores. Let your partner not have a lot to do. That will make her to be so weak. Always make it a duty to support with house chores. Be a supporter to her in all aspects of life. Especially keeping places clean. Keeping the house clean. Keeping it neat. Putting things where they are supposed to be. So that she will have enough time to rest. Tip number Four, speak words of affirmation and encouragement to your wife always. We all know during pregnancy, our body releases a lot of hormones. Some of these hormones can make us really excited, while others can make us really sad. 
And those hormones that make women sad make some women to spend most of their time thinking. And if you speak words of affirmation and encouragement to them, like, honey, your bum looks good on you. I'm blessed to have you in my life. I'm blessed to have you carry my miracle baby. Oh, you've been working a lot, my love. You deserve a treat. You deserve a rest. This is going to make pregnant women very happy. I don't think there is any woman who will be sad when you tell her all of this because she is going to know you are so caring, you are so loving towards her and you will do anything for her despite the fact that she is pregnant and she has hormonal changes. Your love and care for her remain constant. She's going to know you value her a lot. And this will help to uplift many women. This will help to change their mood. And you will see that their lifestyle or the way they are behaving or those who spend so much time thinking, they are going to be happier. They are going to be feeling a little bit more relaxed and they will take things on another level. Make sure you are an active husband. Make sure you watch your wife and you know what to tell her at the time that is right for everything. She's going to appreciate you the more and you'll see that there'll be changes in the house as well as changes in her activities. Tip number five. Don't get so angry about the mood swings. It's not meant for you. Neither is she doing it intentionally. During pregnancy, some women experience a lot of mood swings and they do certain things that might make you angry. You should not be angry. Be very patient at this moment as a husband. You should know she is not the one doing all of this. Just understand this is a phase that after the pregnancy, all of this is going to be over. Be a very supportive husband. Don't focus your energy and your attention a lot on the mood swings. Just look at it as something that comes with pregnancy and will go away when your bundle of joy finally arrives. Tip number six, fill in the blanks. When some women are pregnant, they forget a lot of things at times. There is something they call the pregnancy brain, which makes some women to forget doing certain things they are supposed to do. At times, your wife can even forget to take her medication. At times, she can forget to switch off the cooker when there is a pot there. You should just know that this is as a result of the pregnancy. You should help her. You can switch it off. You can remind her to take her medication. Don't start being insensitive and asking her, why don't you remember this? How come you have forgotten to do this? This is not how you used to be. This pregnancy is making you lazy. Don't say that. Just be supportive and help her to do the things. You can even bring her medications for her to take. Honey, I realize you haven't taken your medication today. Please, can you take it now? Honey, I realized you left the fire on. I switched it off for you. Just tell her nice things when you help her to do things and help her to always know that when she forgets something during this pregnancy, you're going to be there for her and you're going to do it without complaining, without shouting. You will know it's because of the pregnancy that she is forgetting all of this. Tip number seven. Read talk and sing to your baby to be babies can hear during the second trimester of pregnancy and babies can recognize voices in the third trimester including yours so as a dad to be always create time to read to your baby while he or she is in the womb talk to your baby the more you talk to your baby it will be good for you because in the third trimester, babies can recognize voices. If you want your child to recognize your voice and match it with your face easily when he or she gets into the world, always create time to talk to your baby, to read to your baby. Tip number eight, prepare healthy snacks and meals for your wife. As a dad-to-be, you have to understand that there is a time your wife who is pregnant is going to have her cravings. Try to check this out. 
make sure you put it on check. See if the cravings are good for her health and the health of your unborn child. You can try to prepare some meals for her. Prepare some healthy snacks for her. If you don't know what is good, go online. Read books so you know what is good for pregnant women to take. You know what will help the baby to develop and grow properly. You make sure you prepare such meals and give your wife. Even juice, anything your wife is taking, you should make sure you check it out. Because as you check it out, it's going to help a lot. Some women have diabetes while they are pregnant. But if you are there to help your wife, even if she has this, it's not going to be on a different level. Because you're always there to help manage what she eats and what she drinks always. You're telling her the importance. Some women know, some other women they don't know. Even for those who know, when they start having cravings for this, you need to remind them gently, sweetheart, this is not good for you. Don't take it at this moment. Why don't you take this? This is better for your health and the health of our unborn baby. And you will see that she's going to take what you are recommending for her. Tip number nine. While your wife is packing her hospital bag, it will be advisable for you to pack a bag for yourself too. In your own bag, you can put your charger, put some snacks that you're going to eat at the hospital if you have to spend the night. Take your warm clothes so you will not be in a rush to return back home if your bundle of joy doesn't arrive early. Take things that will help you to stay in the hospital for long because as your wife is going to the hospital, she's going to need you by her side. So it will not be necessary for you to be rushing back home that you want to get something. Meanwhile, you can take it early with you. Tip number 10. You can sign up for a dad's to be class. In these classes, you're going to learn how to change a baby's diaper how to know when a baby is hungry, and the importance of breastfeeding in the life of your baby. So this will help you to know how to help your wife when the baby finally comes, and what to be doing, how to take care of a newborn baby. We all know babies are very, very fragile, and they are great gifts from God, but they need proper care. So if you don't attend a dad's to be class, you might make some mistakes, which will cause the baby a lot of harm. Make sure you attend the class. You also read up books. You can watch videos on the internet so you know exactly what to do when your baby finally arrives. So you give your baby the proper care that he or she deserves and know what is wrong with the baby whenever there is something wrong and attend to it immediately. Tip number 11. Try to have a tag on your hospital bag. And on this tag, you can write the name of the midwife that will be attending to your wife or the medical doctor. And when your wife is experiencing her contractions, where she's having a lot of pains and she can't talk to you, or if she sees her mucus block, or let's say her water breaks, it will be easy for you to call the hospital and talk to the midwife or talk to the doctor that will be attending to your wife. You say, my wife has seen her mucus block. Her water has just broken. What should we do? And you'll be instructed on what to do easily. If you don't do this, when your wife will be in so much pain and she's having her contractions when she can't talk, it will be really frustrating for you because you will not know the right person to call and you'll be waiting for your wife to talk to you which might take longer because she is going through a lot and she is not in the mood for talking at that time. So always do this to save time and also to do the right thing early enough. And when they give you the instructions, you will just take your wife to the car, you take her to the hospital and they will already be waiting for you because you have given a call. So it will be easier for everything. Tip number 12. Have you marked out your hospital routes? Do you know how long it's going to take you to get to the hospital? Do you know any short road you can use to get to the hospital during rush hours? If you haven't done so, 
this is a time for you to do it so that when your wife eventually goes into labor you will know the appropriate road to take so you will get to the hospital early for your wife to be attended to thank you so much for watching this video hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share this video with everyone you know encourage them to subscribe to my youtube channel leave your thoughts in the comment section below and if you're watching you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for please subscribe to my youtube channel i'll see you in my next video stay blessed god loves you bye bye